The Little Violet A Story of St. Claudine Theveny The Foundress of the Congregation of Jesus and Mary The Garden of the Theveny Family in the fashionable center of Rue Nerve. The divine gardener planted a tiny seed. Shyly it grew a sweet fragile bud. With gentle rearing, it blossomed forth into a flower, beautiful in its simplicity, a little violet. Then in 1793, the storm came with all its fury, leaving in its wake a trail of destruction and death. Her loved ones were swept away. Thorns and thistles sprang up everywhere, choking the little violet. In deep sorrow, she hung down her head. Then inspired by a determination to bring souls to her creator, she used the implement of love, charity, and patience. Other little flowers responded happily. To brighten the dark pathways of innocence in misery, The divine gardener smiled on the labors of his little flowers. And transplanted them. To the mystic hill of Fourier. There to shed the fragrance of their love and sacrifice. And to instruct others in the right way of life. Now, in full bloom, the violet was acclaimed by all her simplicity, her courage, her modesty and above all for her faith in God. In her brave stand in the battle of life, God strengthened her and guided her gently through the darkness. But time was telling on her. Little by little her petals were drooping. Lower and lower. Yes, it was time for her to go the way, all must go. In her last moments, she looked to her creator for strength and courage. Her head bowed. Her petals drooped with her fast failing strength. Her leaves shriveled. Slowly. With her dying breath. The little violet cried, How good God is! And all was over. The birds ceased their warblings.
the butterflies and the crickets, tarried a moment to shed a silent tear. All nature mourned. The divine gardener welcomed the little violet into his open arms. Yes, the little violet is no more, but her fragrance lingers on. And the mission she started now blooms in 29 countries around the world. <laughs>